Ian, what's the magic word? Frequency. 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 I like it. You've got a project this week. It's a guitar. Right? Well, we have to make a musical out loud. We got to make a musical instrument, right? Let's, let's grab some papers. Yeah. And you're wanting to make a guitar, right? Yeah. And what's our magic word? Frequency. Frequency. Oh, now. The down that guitar, too. Yeah. On a guitar, you have six strings. Yeah. And each one of these strings produces its own Four, note. Two, That's right. And that no note corresponds to a frequency. Yeah. So on a guitar, you've got six strings tuned to six different notes. You have E, A, D, G, B, E. And we can tune it and we can see that when I hit my strum my E string, although I'm slightly out of tune, it should correspond to an E on my tuner. It looks like we're a little bit flat. But we can do the same thing with the A string. Yeah. The same thing with... And I should have an A. Obviously, I'm out of tune. But let's check the D string. Mm. D is going to... It's still a little flat. We'd have to make that one... Tune that one up. So E, A, D. Then we have a G. Mm. My G is flat. I got to tune that, but that's fine. E, A, D, G, B. Yeah, and then my last note will be a high E. What? All right. That's like a song. So, yeah. I think we can build a guitar. I think we could do something even more unique. I think you and I, I think we could build a diddly bow. Would you like to build a diddly bow? It's a one string guitar, essentially. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, with the guitar out of the way. I've got a frequency generator on my phone. Yeah. They can make all kinds of sounds at different frequencies. Whoa. And I guarantee you that there is a tone on here that I can generate, a frequency I can generate that will produce that that uh, the tone that we want because we're looking for the note of E. Now, Your phone's getting dead. let's see if we can find one that sounds like the first E string. Let's see if that is accurate. You know my phone says it's accurate? Yeah, we're going to see on my tuner if it, if it shows the same note that we're looking for, okay? Okay. All right, so I've got my phone going out to the cable to my tuner. And look, that is spot on. We're producing the note of E. Now, I think there's one more thing that we can learn about. Something that we can learn about frequency. I bet that we can learn that frequency and, and time are kind of inverse of each other. This is a sine wave. Okay? All frequencies produce a sine wave. When we talk, our voice is producing a sine wave. It's like an um. Yeah, well, it's, it's, if you were to put these on top of each other... Daddy, it would this? look like it would look like a circle in Daddy, all honesty. Daddy, it's just I've got this band over the time domain Daddy, so it's, so it's squishing it a bit. This? this is the top and this is the bottom of that circle. Mm -hmm. This is called my positive slope and this is called my negative slope. Okay. Yeah. Let's go to yeah. Let's go to my cursors. Yeah, and we'll go to cursor A. Well, Ollie, here, hold on a second. Okay. And we'll go to where I start to, uh, well, we'll go from the bottom where we get to my like positive that. slope of this waveform. Please stop. Hold on, hold on. Stop, Ollie. Ollie, over here with me. Okay. Now I'm going to take my stop second me. cursor, and I'm going to move it to the end of, my, of the negative slope of this waveform. Yeah. Scratchy. Now, what was my yeah. frequency again for the letter E? Uh, it hmm. should be. Oh. A letter. Was it 164.81? Yeah. Yeah. All right. <coughs> you look. If I was to take the inverse of time, our time was 6.1. 
0.08 milliseconds. That is 1 divided by 0 0.00608. I would get a frequency of 164.47 and some extra numbers. That would be my frequency. Same thing. If I was to take frequency and do the inverse of it, I could get my time. Let's do that. So that's 1 divided by 164.4 hertz. That gives me 6.08 milliseconds if I was to move my decimal place over. Okay. So we've just learned that our frequency is the inverse of the time it takes to complete one revolution, one cycle of that frequency. So... We've learned a little bit of science. 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 <laughs> we learned our magic word is what? Frequency. Frequency. Now we need to build our diddly bow. We're going to do it out of a couple things. One, a guitar string, which we have here. Some plywood that we're going to have to cut down to size. I'll tell you what the box is for. We'll take the stuff out of the box. But the box is going to help us make take the sound that we produce and make it louder. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That means we should not make you laugh. Yeah. Until we wake up. Ian, are you looking forward to building this diddly bow? Yeah. Yeah. All right. We'll have to do that next. High five. Good day. What's the magic word? Frequency. Frequency. That's right, Holly. You got it too. It's frequency. 
And so what did we make? We made a diddly bow. Yeah. Diddly yeah. Bow. We had to get our plywood and we got a box. And and, and I make plywood Daddy. at school every day. Daddy. Yeah, Daddy. yeah. Daddy. Or a two by four actually. Uh, yeah. But, yeah, let's go over the steps that we did. So we had our 2 by 4 we had our box, we had our guitar string. Daddy, which one? We cut holes in our box, and then we uh, reinforced it with some glue. Yeah. And then some screws yeah. to hold it all in place. Okay. What's this? That's a guitar pick. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Ooh. Let's go over the process, okay? And we didn't have a guitar tuner, so we, we, we drilled a hole in our 2x4 and we ran our string all the way to the end. Yeah. And then we screwed that piece down, right? Yeah. What is this? Well, we didn't have a tuner for our guitar to get it to the key of E. We, we wanted to get that note. So instead, we used some old bolts and we threw them underneath the string to give it tension. And we were able to achieve the note of C sharp. Right? Yeah. And then we put a little hole in our box here to help uh, w help out with the sound, give it a little bit of more reverberation. But we're able to produce a nice, nice note on this, right? And then after we did that, we had to determine where our harmonics were. Yeah. So we knew some roundabout uh, finger placements for making other notes, right? And with that, we were able to make sound, weren't we? You ready to play the song that we uh, we wanted to learn? Yeah, you want to go play your diddly bow? Yeah. Sounds like fun to me. Too. Do you need the pick?